Hello guys, good afternoon. This is uh, Miss Henderson and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, um, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. I provide uh, new content twice a week with different educational materials. So today I decided to create a few slides on the advanced cardiac life support for healthcare professionals. Again, these videos are meant to um, deepen your understanding and prepare you to pass your ACLS course. So that being said, let's dive into the video. So the first question I have is that, what is the recommended range from which a temperature should be selected and maintained constantly to achieve targeted temperature management after a cardiac arrest. A, 26 to 28 centigrade. B, 29 to 31. C, 32 to 36. D, 35 to 37. So the correct answer for this question is um, C, 32 to 36 centigrade. That's the correct answer. Let's look at question two. So question two is asking, which is the recommended first intravenous dose of amidaron, amidaron for patient with refractory ventricular fibrillation? A, 100 milligrams. B, 150 milligrams. C, 250 milligrams. D, 300 milligrams. So D is the correct answer for this question. D, as in David. All right, so here's another question. Which is the primary purpose of a medical emergency team or rapid response team? which is the primary purpose of a medical emergency team or a rapid response team. A, improving care for patients admitted to critical care units. B, improving patient outcomes by identifying and treating early clinical deterioration. C, providing diagnostic consultation to emergency department patients. D, providing online consultation to EMS. So the correct answer for this question will be B, improving patient outcomes by identifying and treating early clinical deteriorations. That's the correct answer for this question. Let's look at question number four. What is the next step after defibrillation attempt? A, Check the ECG for evidence of a rhythm. B, open the patient's airway. C, determine if a carotid pulse is present. D, resume CPR, starting with chest compression. So D, as in David, is the correct answer for this question. Question five. EMS providers are treating a patient with suspected stroke. According to the adult suspected stroke algorithm, which action performed by the EMS team will expedite this patient care on the arrival? Alert the hospital. B. Establish IV access. C. Review the patient's history. D. Treatment, treat hypertension. So what do you think is the correct answer is A. Alert the hospital. So um, you should call the hospital and let them know you're bringing a patient in so that way they could uh, triage the patient um, accordingly based on the acuity of the patient. So A is the correct answer for that question. Let's look at another question. Which best describes the length of time it should take to perform a pulse check during the BLS assessment? A. 1 to 4 seconds, B, 5 to 10 seconds, C, 11 to 15 seconds, D, 16 to 20 seconds. So the correct answer for this question is B, 5 to 10 seconds. 
So guys, that's it that I have. I just have like a couple of slides, five or six slides. Again, thank you for tuning in to this YouTube channel. If you like these types of content and these types of educational material, please consider smashing the um, subscribe button. Um, give me a thumbs up, like and share and drop your comments below what else educational material you would like me to provide you. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.